It's been three years since the coronavirus emerged from Wuhan, China, spread across the globe, and then evolved through many mutations and variants. Despite decent herd immunity and strong vaccination rates in the U.S., a highly contagious subvariant, XBB15, is keeping medical researchers alert. It's part of the, the Omicron larger family, um, but it is one that has uh, really taken hold here in the U.S. and is now estimated to, to cause about 40 percent of all of um, COVID-19 cases um, in the country right now. Americans have seen sicknesses rise during winter months with the combination of flu, respiratory illnesses like RSV and the coronavirus sometimes overwhelming hospital systems. Experts think that flu and RSV infections have already peaked and the coronavirus is milder than past variants, but they warn that people and healthcare systems must keep vigilant. The bottom line is that COVID is here to stay. Healthcare systems need to be more resilient, need to address staffing challenges in nursing and other areas. People need to get vaccinated against flu and COVID. Um, people who are concerned or at risk or when there's a lot of spread need to consider masking up in certain indoor places. So this is the new normal. In China, though, it's a different story. The government is just beginning to report high numbers of COVID-19 deaths following a relaxation of its zero COVID policy, which put huge restraints on people's movement. So you have a population that mostly hasn't been exposed to COVID before, and therefore very few people have immunity from infection, uh, have either not been vaccinated or have had a vaccine that doesn't work very well, and are now being allowed to uh, go and uh, and, and roam free without the restrictions that they've had for the last couple of years. And that is a very incendiary combination of factors. China's loosening policies are now coming more in line with the rest of the world, where there's a growing view that COVID-19 will be managed along with seasonal illnesses. Laurel Bowman, VOA News, Washington.